Now in this question we're told that we have the wave function y of x and t is equal to 0 0.350 sine of 10 pi t minus 3 pi x plus pi on 4. And we know that for a travelling wave it has a wave function y of x and t is equal to a sine kx minus omega t plus phi if it's travelling to the right. So in this case, this is our omega, the number in front of the t. This is our k. And as these have opposite signs, we know that it's travelling to the right. So a travelling to the right, which is the positive x direction. Now we're asked to find the speed. Well, we know v is equal to f lambda, and omega is equal to this thing here, so that's equal to 10 pi, which is equal to 2 pi f. So this tells us that our frequency is equal to 10 over 2, which is 5.00 hertz. And we know that k is equal to 2 pi over lambda by definition, and that's equal to this 3 pi. So that tells us that lambda is equal to 2 over 3, which if you want to solve it on the calculator, you get 0 0.667 meters for it, or you can leave it as 2 thirds of a meter. Okay, now to work out the velocity, v is equal to f lambda. So v is equal to 5.00 times 2 thirds. That is equal to 3 and 1 third, which is equal to 3.33 meters per second. So that's the answer to part A to the right. Now part B asked us what's y at x is equal to 0 0.100 and t is equal to 0. So all we need to do is substitute these into our wave equation here. So this is equal to 0 0.350 sine. Now 10 pi t t is 0, so this term just disappears. So now we substitute in for our x, 0 0.100, so that's 0 0.300 pi, and we've still got our negative sign, and then plus pi on 4. Now solving this on the calculator, making sure that you put your calculator in radians or that you convert it to degrees, you end up with minus 0 0.0547 meters, which is equal to minus 5.47 centimetres. Now part C asked us to find the wavelength. We've already found it is two thirds of a metre. We found it over here. And part D asked us to find the frequency. We've already found that the frequency is equal to 5.00 hertz. Now part E said, what's the maximum transverse speed? So what this is asking for is the maximum velocity of a particle. Okay, so let's do that over here. To do that, the velocity of the particle is given by dy dt. So we need to take the derivative of this with time. So to take the derivative, we take the derivative of what's inside the sine function with time, which is just the 10 pi. So we've got 10 pi times the amplitude 0 0.350 and the sine becomes a cos when we differentiate it so that's times cos of 10 pi t minus 3 pi x plus pi on 4. Now it wanted to know the maximum transverse speed. The maximum is going to occur when this cos function is equal to 1 because that's the maximum the cos can be. So this will be 10 pi times 0 0.350 v max in the y direction and this will be equal to 11.0 meters per second if you solve it on your calculator. 